Do you like Lalique's men's fragrances? Well, today I have 10 of them here with me and I'm gonna rank my 10 favorite Lalique fragrances. And I'm gonna let you know all about the 10 different men's fragrances from the house of Lalique. So if you wanna find out about Lalique's men's fragrances, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in to Sister Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, I love Lalique and I think that Lalique's fragrances, for men at least, are very, very unique. Lalique has so many different fragrances and they have a lot of different exclusive or private collection types of fragrances in different collections, but I feel like they have a pretty solid lineup of men's fragrances. So I've got 10 of them for you here today and I'm gonna tell you all about it. But before we get started, if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances and still haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Let's get right to it. But before we jump to my number 10 fragrance, I'm going to tell you that my very first Lalique fragrance was Lalique Ange Noir dating back to 2012. So let's get started. At number 10, this is a fragrance called White, this one right here. Lalique White is a very, very unique, soft, spicy, citrusy fragrance for men. I feel like Lalique White can be very unisex and can be uh, worn by women as well. It's a very, very soft. Something about the fragrance just comes off soft and skin scent like and I, I put it down at the t number 10 spot because I feel like it's not a fragrance that jumps out at you. It's subdued in the, the way it performs on me. It does smell great. It has notes of a pedigrain, so it's a green note, bitter green note of the in, uh, orange uh, tree, the leaves. And then you've got lots of black pepper, but it's not the kind of pepper that's really strong and pungent that makes you sneeze. It's very s soft and subdued. Bergamot, and then there's that citrusy kind of tart tamarind note in here. Then there's cedar, nutmeg, and cardamom. So it's a spicy, aromatic, spicy fragrance that's fresh, clean, and uh, perfect to wear if you don't want something to make a statement with. It's very, very subdued, as, as I said, and I like that sometimes if you want a skin scent. So that's why I've put Lalique White at number 10. You might like it. Check it out. It's, it's a great fragrance. It's just I have to rank these in a certain way, and I can't put them all at number one, obviously. So the next one is the fragrance I first bought from this house dating back to 2012. It's Ange Noir. Why is this at the bottom? It's a very, very popular fragrance. In fact, a lot of men seem to like it. It's, it's also one of the fragrances that I, after I was watching videos from a few YouTubers, um, especially Mark from Robes08 channel, there were reviews of this fragrance that are very, very frequently, like I was seeing it pop up a lot. So I'm like, you know what? I gotta get me this fragrance. So even though uh, I feel like this is a fragrance, if you're starting your journey and you have a little bit of a, uh, experience with fragrances and you want to go to the next level and you're still a newbie but you want to go into the side where they're a little more interesting I feel like this is a great fragrance to start with but it is it is actually a great great release uh, there's 10 here so I can't put it at number one obviously so I had to fit it somewhere and it was a great fragrance for me to start with to explore vetiver more as I had experienced vetiver by Guerlain and a few others and this one turned out to be a very unique um, experience for me. Now, Ancre Noir means black ink. It is a black inky vetiver, but it's great, great vetiver. There's vetiver, cypress, musk, and cashmere wood in the notes. It's great, and you can get these really inexpensively. So Lalique Ancre Noir is at number nine. At number eight, sorry this had to be here, but I, like I said, I can't put these all in the top spot. This one I had featured in my Violet Leaf Fragrances video. It's because it's focusing on the violet flower and the violet leaf. This is Homage a la Homme right here. So it's a very, when you smell this, it has a very succulent quality. Like there's a gelatinous vibe in there with the violet, the, like almost like when you break into aloe vera, you can see the gel in there. I can experience that in here. It's very, very unique, but it's lots of violet leaves, lots of violet leaves. It's very ozonic and kind of a watery aquatic. There's violet as a flower. There's oud, there's saffron, there's black pepper, labdanum, tonka beans, musk, 
bergamot as the notes. A lot of those come in. There is an ambery touch. There's a spicy touch. The oud is there. It gives it a very kind of almost animalic oud, but not quite a, a synthetic variety of the animalic oud. But I mostly get a lot of violet leaf in here. It's just what it's all about for me. And I love that. It's very kind of, a, like I said, ozonic, slightly, uh, very, very unique masculine offering for me. Um, go check out my violet leaf fragrances video if you're curious to learn more about this one and also violet leaf fragrances. But Lalique Homage à la Homme. Uh, is at number eight and homage basically means tribute in French. So if you didn't know that now, you know Going back to the Ancre Noir collection again, and I've got Ancre Noir Sport here. So Ancre Noir Sport is a Really really great fresh vetiver fragrance if you like vetiver and you like it to be fresh This is definitely one for you to try this one is utilizing lots of vetiver It's basically a flanker of the original along with lots of grapefruit. There's lots of loads of grapefruit with a cypress the cypress is prominent in uh, the uh, Lalika Ancre Noir collection, except for the Poor L, which is the woman's version of Lalika uh, Ancre Noir. But lots of cypress, there's watery notes, there's um, cashmere wood, lavender, nutmeg, and musk. Again, it's really, really lovely. And this one really hints at uh, the now discontinued Anique Gutal Vetiver, that was Vetiver fragrance that I really loved uh, back in the day. But if you like that fragrance, and uh, which was unisex, again, this is targeted to men, but I feel like it's very unisex, check it out, check this one out. Again, the Lalique collection of fragrances are very, very inexpensive at the discounters, so check it out. This is Lalique Ancre Noir Sport at number seven. And at number six, sad this ended up at number six, it's more of a recent pickup and I featured it in a video of my two recent Lalique fragrances pickup video which featured Lalique Homage à la Homme Voyager and then this one Ombre Noir. So this ended up at number six. I'm trying to make this fragrance grow on me but for me, uh, for some odd reason I'm comparing it to Bentley for Men Intense but it doesn't just come, you know, close to it even though it's a good fragrance. It's a boozy tobacco, cognac, cinnamon, myrrh, papyrus, olibanum, cedar, mint, tonka, fig, bergamot. Lots going on. Unique notes throwing in that green mint and fig note with a very dark and ambery boozy tobacco fragrance is a very unique uh, combination and maybe surely but uh, we'll see if it uh, you know ends up at the top because sometimes I get fragrances that just don't wow me right up the front, but then I keep coming back to it. I just have to train my nose to like it, I guess. And so it kind of goes up there. So for now, it's still a great fragrance, but it's not like a number a number one or number two because I have some other fragrances in here. But if you like a, a unique take on boozy and tobacco fragrances, definitely check out Ombre Noir from Lalique. I think it's a great fragrance. It's just not number one currently. And again, as I said, a lot of these fragrances, I have to put them somewhere and that's where Ombre Noir ended up. And Ombre Noir basically means black shadow. So we are using Noir twice in, uh, well, not twice, in two different fragrances, but uh, several flankers as well. So that's at number six. And we're gonna go right to a fragrance that's fairly new to me and I'm quite impressed with and where have I been? I never really checked into this. I don't know what I was doing. I completely forgot it, but glad I have it now. This is Lin Sumi from the House of Lalique. Of course, we're doing a Lalique top 10 video. And this is basically called The Rebellious. Uh, so. I guess it's rebellious, but I don't know. It's an aromatic uh, woody fragrance with lots of clary sage, woody notes, sage, rum, lavender, vetiver, black pepper, bergamot, oak moss, patchouli. Acts like a modern kind of a barbershop fougere type fragrance. Uh, oak moss is here, we've got the lavender, but in, along with those notes, there's that rum note, which is really unique and boozy. So a boozy fougere or a woody aromatic fragrance. It's very, very classy. It's sophisticated, it smells very modern, but also kind of like, um, like touching on the classics, you know, that we come to know about. I love this, this is so good. It's really, really good. Uh, I'm gonna give it more tries and wears, but, if you like a, a really modern take on a aromatic woody or woody aromatic fougere kind of fragrance, check out Lin Sumi from the House of Lalique. That's at number five. Okay, this next one is Lalique Pour Homme Equius. There's two Lalique Pour Hommes in the uh, video today in this collection, but Lalique Pour Homme Equius is a unique take on the original Lalique Pour Homme, and Equius is the horse's head, and then the original, original Lalique Pour Homme is the lion 
this is correct, right? Horse's head, lion's head. So the horse's head, the equus, is all about juniper berries, sequoia, vetiver, cardamom, nutmeg, violet leaf, bergamot, redwood, lemon, mace. So it's a very woody, citrusy, aromatic, spicy kind of a fragrance. It's very, very classy. In fact, the sequoia note is really, really unique here. The sequoia note kind of hints at sequoia from Comme des Garçons, uh, but that one goes boozy because there's a boozy note in there. But very, very great. I mean, these are for, sort of new for me that um, I have been exploring this because I, I, I felt like I kind of skipped over some of the popular fragrances or, you know, more underrated fragrances from Lalique. And uh, I was basically only relying on the Ancre uh, Noir collection and then, of course, White. But there's some great, great releases. This is a really, really unique take on a uh, woody uh, aromatic or uh, woody spicy fragrance for men. Really, really unique and totally different than the other one. Uh, I like the other one more because it has a very classic vibe and very pungent with the lavender. This one, there's no lavender. So the other one is more of a fougere-like uh, aromatic fragrance. This is very, very unique. Lovely stuff. The sequoia and the juniper, really uh, a great quality. There's a little bit of a fizzy, bubbly kind of an accord in here as well from the notes. So it's really, really unique take on a great masculine woody fragrance. So that is Lalique Pour Homme Equius. Now this next one was featured in that video that I picked up the two fragrances with um, Ombre Noir. This one right here. And then of course, uh, Lalique Homage a la Homme Voyager. This is so good. This is so good. I love this one because I love patchouli and vetiver together. And then you throw in some papyrus and oak moss, cardamom, bergamot, amber and vanilla. It's it's gorgeous. I think this is discontinued though. I think I'm not sure why it might have not done very well But if you like the combination of patchouli and vetiver together, it's to die for the papyrus is also pretty prominent here And the three together work really well together and also you can smell the refinement everything is very re refined There's no roughness in the fragrance uh, Sometimes uh, vetiver and patchouli can be rough. There's no rough here. It's just smooth very very smooth wearing experience, but Patchouli and vetiver together with papyrus is phenomenal. Lalique Hommage à la Homme Voyager. Next, we're going to the fragrance Lalique Pour Homme Lion. This one right here, I spoke about it a little bit. And this one, wow, this is so good. Reminds me of the classics, but very, very pungent. Lots of lavender, intense lavender here, mixed in with like a powdery iris. There's lots of cedarwood here, sandalwood. And then oak moss comes in, and this is where it's kind of reminding me of a little bit of a fougere, a very, very woody fougere. There's some vanilla thrown in and more aromatics and spicy rosemary, patchouli, amber, grapefruit. Wow, I love this. In fact, I wore this a couple times and I washed my hands and I had, on, I had it on my hands. And what dries after it's washed? Oh man, I love smelling that. It smells great. Anyway, Lalique Pour Homme Lion. Awesome, awesome stuff. And if you have been watching my channel already, you probably already know what my number one is. It is Lalique Ancre Noir à la Extreme. I couldn't make, not make this at number one because it's such a great classy vetiver fragrance. So, so refined. So, um, there's a, like a slightly boozy touch under there, like almost like rum or whiskey. There's a little bit of an oody touch in there, but mostly it's about vetiver, smoky incense, cypress, the prominence, cypress with the vetiver together. Now there's elemy here and there's benzoin, and I think the combination of the elemy and benzoin gives it a kind of a boozy quality. Sandalwood, patchouli, orris, bergamot. You know, this is great. It's a great fragrance, uh, very classy, very modern, very intense vetiver, and it does hint at uh, Chanel's uh, Sycamore a little bit, which is, if you're on a budget and you can't afford Ch Chanel Sycamore, why not go with this one where you can really afford it? So this is Ancre Noir à la Extreme, and that wraps up my top 10 Lalique men's fragrances list. Guys, are you a fan of this house, Lalique? Do you know that they're a designer? Do you uh, have any of their fragrances? Which one is your favorite? And which one of these fragrances have you been eyeing and have been wanting to try? Let me know, put some comments down so that I find out. If you were to rank this list, how would you rank these fragrances? I would love to see that. Put some comments down and put them in your favorites order. I'd love to see that. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today. If you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Otherwise, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>